quick, easy test of the difference between your God and my God. It's the difference of saying what your God is against or what your God opposes. And what my God is against, what my God opposes. You have those specific religions who say God is against homosexuality, God is against polygamy, so on and so forth, and this and that. What is my God against? My God is against that which is not truth. It's so real plain and simple. So no gray areas, no confusion. And where there is confusion, it is confusion on our, our own part, our own lack of understanding, overstanding, understanding, outer standing, because of our own ignorance. Because God is not confused. The truth is not confused about the truth. It's not confused about itself. It's not confused about all things. Because the truth knows. So that which is it against. against nothing. Once again, only against that which is not truth. No judging. When there's judgment, it's only judging in truth. Judging in truth. Judging what is and what isn't. Not good and bad. What is and what isn't. And when there is good and bad, good is truth, bad is that which is not truth. That's all it is. Plain and simple. Real easy. God wouldn't make it hard for you. You may make it hard for yourself. Or <clears throat> because of your mindset, because of your ignorance, because of your mentality, you make it hard for yourself. And even when you're thinking making it easy for yourself, you're actually making it hard for yourself and maybe hard for your family, those others. Of course, there's plenty of times when things can be hard for those even if you are in truth. If you follow truth. If truth is your God and you love truth all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And that, and that struggle is only, once again, because of your own feelings and because of the feelings around you. Because of getting caught up in being down about something being frustrated, being angry about something. <clears throat> and ultimately, what you're going to be angry about, what you're going to be down about, sad, depressed, whatever it is, is about truth. No matter what, it's going to be about truth. Once you create opinion about something, you've created about truth. Even if you're mad because somebody's a liar, the truth is a liar, and you're mad about that. Why are you mad about that? You know the truth. You're upset because of some <clears throat> injustice you feel has been done upon yourself or done upon others. The truth is, it has been done. The truth is, it has been done, it is being done. The truth is, either it can be stopped or it can't be stopped. Can't as in an unwillingness, because there's no such thing as can't. Outside of what is currently possible, but can as in being totally and completely impossible, it's something that will have to be proven, that something is totally possible, giving all the time in the world. And at the beginning of the day, at the end of the day, My God judges your God. Judges in the truth. If your God isn't a God or isn't the God, I guess all gods are gods no matter what because they're gods to you. If I want to lay down and pray and make this my God, say it is my Savior. And I put up on a pedestal. 
and I pray to it, and I cry to it, and they ask for guidance and forgiveness, and I say, by way of this very marker, this dry race marker, that I have forgiveness and salvation, that I will be going to heaven. Well, there's my God. There's my God within my mind, where the truth speaks to whether it is God or not. The truth is against it, and that it wouldn't, it isn't God. It wouldn't be God. Even once again, even from my mind, I created, I prayed to it, because would it answer my prayers? Would it bring me salvation? Would it keep me from going to hell? Is there a hell? Would it look over my family and protect them? If the truth is no, then that's what my God is against it, because once again, my God is against that which is not true. Real simple.